I now um, uh, request uh, Deepa ji, who is uh, one of our uh, co-curators, uh, to come and talk about the you know uh, concept of this uh, uh, conference in a far more uh, greater detail. She is the founder of uh, Story Arts uh, Foundation, which is an award-winning. Uh, she is an award-winning international storyteller and educationist trainer, writer, actor, filmmaker, and also TEDx speaker, uh, a multifaceted uh, uh, personality. Frankly, you know, uh, I have in this course of curating this conference, uh, through my interactions with her, I've uh, learned a lot. She's authored a print come audio book for children titled The Royal Mystic. She's conducted trainings for over 75,000 educators from over 80 countries. And her musical, interactive, multilingual storytelling presentations and workshops, yeah, uh, they're inspired by Indian oral traditions. That is important. And her work has received a lot of appreciation and adulation, both in India and abroad. Uh, welcome, Deepaji. Uh, namaste. Thank you, Shivkumarji. And uh, um, congratulations to uh, Indic Academy for putting, Indica for putting this together, um, having a long association. I'm really, really delighted, excited right from the start. And today the way it has all shaped up the overwhelming response from all of you, from all the delegates, from attendees, from panelists, it's amazing. Um, and this journey, yes, I, I can echo back what you were talking about, this whole process of, of learning, growing, being guided by Professor Nagaraj Garu and Hariji in the helm of things, technical support from Shini Mahasri, and of course, uh, so much of this has guidance from you, Shikumaji. It's uh, been beautiful. Uh, so just uh, to set the context of the uh, conference here, I'm here to share a little. I'd like to start with a few lines which we're all quite familiar with that goes. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunattu Sahadityam Karavavahai Tejasvena Vaditamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 A loose translation of the words literally means, may the teacher and the student be protected. May we all be nourished together. May we work together with great energy. May our studies be enlightening. May there be no hate amongst us. Peace, peace, peace. Given that we are all going to be learning from each other for the next few days, I thought this made a nice start. I'd like to take us back to uh, Marshall McLohan, the founder of Media Studies from the University of Toronto, who's really put together the history of media studies, looking at studying media itself. So if we see where communication began, right from little leaf scratches, of course, the oral shouting out, talking to each other, and public communication in a certain sense began with leaf scratches, cave paintings, slowly, slowly moved to parchment paper. And despite that, despite parchment paper coming into place for a very, 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 very long period in history, it was oral communication, oral transmission of knowledge, oral transmission of language, of literature that predominated. We're all aware of that. I'm reminded of the quote of uh, the science fiction writer, Ursula Le Guin, who said, there may be civilizations that did not have the wheel, but there was no civilization that did not have storytelling. Storytelling, perhaps in different forms, for some, it might have been just around the bonfire. For this land, it was far more deeper, but has always existed. The time when things changed 
and print took over was of course with the invention of the printing press when writing was not just limited to preservation to be shared with other libraries to be looked at perhaps when required but writing became the source of transmission of knowledge the source of transmission of literature and that of course brought brought with it a dramatic change like it always does any form of communication that predominates is the one that dictates the social norms that dictates power that dictates a lot of the dynamics of what really happens silent reading came into play only after the printing press came in fact silent reading was considered a sort of a uh, miraculous thing so people would go and peek through the window if somebody was reading silently to themselves because before that it was only saying things aloud that existed you narrated aloud and even if you read you read aloud the printing press brought the silent reading which again brought a lot of changes in the dynamics yes then we had the radio television mobile um, today we are in a very very different space where social media social media predominates the forms of communication and social media is of course the giant the one that's holding power but in the middle of all this what really has happened with storytelling we are in a space today where we started by talking about the teacher and the learner since i work with teachers i would like to refer back to the space of teachers we are in a space today where teachers are of course using multimedia in their classrooms there is an inundation of information inundation of audio visual information today there are teachers who are at times confused and wondering and saying ma'am should i play videos should i play music should i really tell stories to my children today will they listen and time and again time and again episodes have always proven that the best of the gadgets the best of the technology the best of the current social media digital tools that we have one side and on the other a teacher sitting down a storyteller sitting down face to face narrating a story the eye contact the smile that little giggle catching the look on someone's face the gift of presence that one gives to the other in this transaction of storytelling and story listening nothing can really substitute that this is to just place the context of this conference that despite all these very very uh, many means of communication that's come in today oral storytelling still holds its relevance still holds its significance as new and as contemporary as it might seem it is equally ancient and coming from times much before the word puranam itself is about that which is ancient and which is ever nascent and that seems to be true also of oral storytelling so it made perfect sense to want to explore this and i believe that is where uh, this deeper exploration where people who are on ground practicing the storytellers and people who are theorizing about it are all coming together in meaningful fruitful exchange to enrich each other along the way i'm delighted that we're all here together for this and looking forward to each of your presentations धन्यवाद दीपा जी ए ब्यूटीफुल यू नो यू हैव सेट द कॉन्फ्रेंस इन अ ब्यूटीफुल मोशन विद अ विद अ ब्रीफ अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्टोरी टेलिंग एंड 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 इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी इट्स नॉट जस्ट इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ आवर सिविलाइजेशन